The movie begins in a house where nobody is at home except the nanny and a child. The nanny ties up the young girl and pushes her onto the bed. The girl thinks that the nanny is playing around with her and when she gets up, the nanny pushes her back down. As the nanny continues to do this, the girl becomes angry and begins shouting at her. She is surprised by the girl and quickly unties her. As soon as the girl is free, she begins striking the nanny on the face. Surprisingly, as she continues to hit her, a smile appears on the nanny's face and she grabs the girl. She reminds her that life will get tough and no matter how difficult it becomes, she must always stand up for yourself and fight back. Later that evening when the girl's mother returns home and notices marks on her daughter's arms, Valerie asks the nanny what happened but before she can answer, the little girl tells her that she fell down earlier while playing on the swings. The following day, Thea goes to pick up the girl from school when she sees her being thrown to the floor by other children. Thea is shocked by this and runs over to help but just then, she sees the girl stand up for herself and she begins fighting back. No matter how many times she gets knocked down, she gets up and keeps fighting which brings a smile on Thea's face. As time goes on, Thea and the girl develop a very close bond and spend all their time together. Valerie becomes a little concerned by this as the girl hardly wants to spend any time with her. The nanny goes out of her way to make the girl happy and one day, she buys her a huge girl's castle from her own money. The girl is so happy at receiving the present but the mother notices this and becomes increasingly concerned. Over the next few days, Valerie watches her child with the nanny and notices small things which makes her very uncomfortable. One day, she decides to follow Thea to find out some more information about her. She is shocked to discover that she lives directly opposite them. She goes over to her house and is horrified to find drawings by her daughter all over Thea's house. The house is full of photographs of her daughter. Valerie is shocked by all this and when she confronts her, that's when it is revealed that Thea is actually the young girl's biological mother. Valerie becomes very angry and can't believe that she would deceive her like this. She fires her and tells her to stay away from her daughter. As she leaves, we see that there is a man hiding in the apartment who has been listening the whole time. A few days later, Valerie is involved in a serious car accident and her body is pulled out of the river by police. In the days that follow, the little girl was allowed to move in with Thea and they both were very happy. A few days later, the police asked Thea to come down to the station where they began questioning her about Valerie's accident. They found her ID inside the vehicle and told her that the brakes on the car had been deliberately cut. The police believe that she was the only one with a motive to kill Valerie. Thea is shocked by the allegations made towards her and breaks down crying. This is where she reveals that 12 years ago she was sold to an international organization who made money from girls. As a result of what they were forced to do, many of the girls became pregnant and the business owner saw this as an opportunity. Over the next 12 years, she gave birth to nine children and became a breeding machine for them. Through everything, Thea was able to find love with a man called Nello and find happiness. However, when the leader of the organization found out about him, he ordered for him to be killed. She found his body buried in the ground which devastated her. Just when she thought she couldn't go on, she found out that she was pregnant with her boyfriend's baby. As soon as the young girl was born, she was taken away from her. Unable to live without her daughter, Thea began searching for her and after three years, she was able to find out the address of the family she had been given to. One night, she thought of a plan to leave. While the leader was sleeping, she stabbed him and took all the cash in the house and set out on finding her lost daughter. After months of trying, she was finally able to find her daughter and watched her from across her home for days. She eventually managed to get a job with the family as a nanny and for years she was so happy. One night while she was at home, the leader managed to track her down and just when he was going to finish her off, there was a knock at the door. This was the same night Valerie had come to her apartment and found photographs of her daughter there. The man heard everything and threatened her that he would finish off her daughter if she didn't keep working for him and give back all the cash she had stolen. It was him who cut the brakes on Valerie's car and killed her. When the man demands his cash back, Thea tells him that she buried it in a nearby forest. The man gets angry and tells her to take him there immediately to get it. When they get there, Thea sees her chance and they both get into a struggle, somehow she manages to push him back and the man stumbles and fall backwards, luckily for her. He impales himself on a sharp piece of wood and is killed. We then see Thea taking the police to the forest where she buried him and they uncover his body. 
Thea is interrogated by the police further and as part of the investigation, they question the doctor who gave Thea details about the whereabouts of her daughter. This is where we learn that the little girl is not her daughter. The address they had on record was given by the leader of the organization. It was just the name he found on the back of a necklace. Upon hearing this, Thea is totally devastated and collapses onto the floor. The police carry out a DNA test and it is confirmed that the little girl is not Thea's daughter. As Thea was responsible for the death of the leader, she was given a 10-year prison sentence. The authorities took pity on her and they allowed her to visit the young girl one last time. Thea approaches the girl while she is lying in a hospital bed and tells her that she has to leave as she found a job in another country. The girl's eyes are full of sadness and Thea reminded her that if anyone ever picked on her, she had to promise her that she would always fight back. As the girl falls asleep, Thea leaves her behind. The next scene shows that 10 years have passed and we see Thea being released from prison. As she makes her way out, she sees someone waiting there for her. To her surprise, it is the young girl who has turned into a beautiful young woman who is waiting for her. Thea is overwhelmed with emotion. She can't believe that she waited for her so long. The bond between them was so strong that the young girl saw her as her real mother and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.